Hey guys, the CEO of GMK Eats hosted Saga or rather Saga paid a visit to eat. We all know GMK now. She was in the shinier ice season. Bring body make I run out. Hey. So that's Saga's voice in the background. So let me let you enjoy. Hey. Hey. I get money pa- I don't get money pass your papa. Oh. Your papa get money. Oh. Let's go. Cheers. So guys, I heard that JMK Eats sells the best noodles. Hmm. To be very honest, I would like to have a taste. Definitely, you hmm. can see that Saga had a great time. And guess what? Obi Kubana is presently abroad. And guess who paid him a visit? Pato Rankin's two lovely daughters. So guys, I would like to know, is Pato Rankin married? Guys, what's in the happen? I've been a baby mama. Who has the gist? You push your gist me, Biko. Are you leaving? Yes. Where am I? Thank you. Come on, hug Uncle Maya. Yeah. Good, good. Don't know. Check it. Uh-uh. You. I'm not going to like sit down. Good, baby. Bye. Bye, guys. World best. Don't know. They don't know. Check it. Check it. Uh, don't know. Kubana Villa. Yes. Don't know. Check it. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm coming to you, man. So next we have AG Baby's family. We have Simi and Simi's mom hanging out together. Guys, you would love this video. Having fun. Having fun. Outside, we're living life. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, Simi belongs to another world because she just dresses as she pleases. I love it for her though. I love how confident she is in her little whatever. Whatever. But I love this top. This top, wow, what a gorgeous top. Wow, no, this is really beautiful. I love it so much. <laughs> You go faster? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you did it. High five. Good job. High five. <laughs> and we have Tolo Dunsi and his girl loving up. Rich, what's rich? So, guys, and let's talk about this wonderful production that Bimbo Ademoye and a couple of some of your favorite actors actresses and social media influencers are a part of so let's see here we have brother shaggy welcoming saga on set to be very honest i am super excited about this production and i can't wait for it to drop yes fina is also part of this production i posted here we have latif i hope i got that right we have jide kosoko and you can see saga saying hello to his senior i can't even say senior colleagues well and we have shaggy and guess who we have on set we also have shafi bello to be very honest this whatever it is i love her eyeshadow oh my god this is smoky hot then we have saga getting you know in his costume or what do we call it props i mean a uh, special effect makeup yes i think that's the watch saga is such a neat guy now guys how far with nini since she and saga broke up eh, she's so invisible i mean make i go check her page guys i'll be right back i need to go check her page let me see what she is up to okay see fina here when you see her good thing say she gets sense aboron kape you go fear fin and jide kosoko now how do you go so guys here we have nini actually went to her page to see what she has been up to but i can see the girl is having the time of her life traveling up and down no nothing much no much work on her page i mean like maybe deals and all that saga is actually busier so away from nini saga fina and all this big brother niger 
did I say a way when I'm still diving into Big Brother stuff? So, guys, guess what? Can you guess? I bet you would never guess this. So, guys, here is the gist. BB Titans nurse JP has returned back to her day job, which is nursing. She made this known on her Instagram stories where she shared a video where she was seen attending to a patient with this caption. After eight months of being away, finally back within the four walls of a hospital, felt like home. People were super excited from her Insta stories to see her in her scrub. I've been waiting that they call them scrubs. And this picture she captioned, you know it's serious work when two different scrubs are worn in one day. Hear me out, guys. I'm super excited for Nurse JP because I have always believed that these ex-housemates shouldn't feel a type of way going back to their day jobs if after their Big Brother Ninja outing or BB Titans outing, things don't work out as planned. I've always felt like just be proud, go back to your day job. It's not a big deal. It doesn't make you less of a person. Instead, it makes you a noble person. We have had the likes of Bright O who returned to his job as a sailor after he got more certifications after his sojourn in BB Ninja. So aside Sprite, oh, we also have Kaisha who is battling some colomental issues, guys. I don't want to mention the word because of YouTube restrictions, so I'm going to be calling it Colo. So presently, Kaisha is battling some Colo issues. That's why she's hardly on social media. In fact, there are lots of Big Brother Ninja ex housemates that are not doing so well for themselves. To be very honest. The thing about Big Brother Ninja, it's a curse and it's, it can be a curse and it can be a blessing for some. After the show, they move on to do great things. Why some struggle so much that they have to relocate like the likes of Lulu from the Pepper Dem season. We have um, John Oga from uh, the Sego Bay season. And then, well, yeah, we have a lot of ex-housemates who have relocated. Not much is known about them. And of course, there are some who are doing amazing well, like Toby, who is present in America, expecting yes, his second child with his wife. And we also have Toby, such an amazing husband. He caters to his wife so well. Like you will see in those videos, you can see he's massaging her legs because she's pregnant and you know, ensuring that her feet is well massaged. So you see, said life no balance. While the likes of Toby are balling, others are going through it, my people. <laughs> and then there is Jackie B, aka my son is watching, having the time of her life. Her son is presently in the UK, in Chelsea, whatever, academy because he has interest in football. I mean, Jackie practically just abandoned everything about celebrity life and she's focused on family. Yeah. And we also have Jackie Mando, aka Tech Queen. She was part of the Pepper Dem season. She was pretty close to Mike Edwards. She's one person I thought would be making the, you know, the airwaves because she's the first person that ever drew my consciousness to and uh, tech because then she was in fact she was called the tech queen because she was such a bore and she spoke mostly about tech there are lots of people like our guys forget like i said earlier big brother can be a curse it can be a blessing the only thing is before you get into the house be like toby bakri you need to sit down with your stra with a strategic team plan your life and know what you want to do for yourself outside the show Else, uh, you go go like that, come out into you, and I am not kidding. But on a very serious note, I even thought Big Brother, Big Brother, will reach out to the likes of Avala, Isilomo, who left in week one. Like they spent just one week, and do you know why they left? Coins wahala, like coins. So, guys, to be very honest, I think the show you just need to know how to go about it else because somebody was telling me of an ex-houseman who confided in him that he regrets ever going into the big brother ninja house that's one of the biggest mistakes he ever made in his life 
why some people tell you is a blessing well whatever rocks your boat anyway share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget this video is supposed to be about every like the entertainment industry generally you know, so i digress begin talk of big brother niger ex housemates hey society hotspot you two talk